just trying to <clears throat> just trying to gather my emotions here and give you guys an update. A shitty life for someone to have done this. To have been forced into, you know, an intensive breeding program, and then when psychologically she can't continue she starts taking out on you know her litter her puppies so then they've discarded her and then within a, sh a few short months she's developed an extremely aggressive cancer and is not likely to see the end of the month which is when she was supposed to be adopted today. Come on. <sighs> Let's go live today, huh? Let's go have a good day. Do you do chicken nuggets this time of day? Yep. Can I get a 20 pack please? Yep. The 24 is cheaper if you didn't want to get any meal. Yeah, sure. 24 is fine. Yep, anything else? No thanks mate. No worries, that was wrong. What are these smells? Eh? What are these smells? What's the smells coming out of there? Eh? That perked you up a bit, didn't it? Sniffers going. Well, sniffers going on there. Yeah. Yeah. So the results that we got this morning 
were from the uh, little sample they got from extracting what they could out of the syringe, out of the needle. And so the biopsy that they did yesterday is still um, <clears throat> obviously going to give us a lot more of an idea of how aggressive it is, but from the imaging and from the report and everything that the vet has to go by. Um, she's saying that it is not looking very good at all. She's not likely to um, not likely to see out the end of the month. Um, of course, we'll still get those results and uh, you know, for something like this, they're saying that it's so far spread throughout all her um, different areas of her body, lungs, chest, mammary glands, back of the elbow. Uh, surgery is just not an option. And, you know, with such a dire outlook, you know, you got to weigh up do you even um, attempt to put her through anything like that? I did ask for all the different options as far as medication and yeah, and they're even saying that that cough there is most likely a case of um, her immune system just so overrun and run down trying to fight this cancer that she's just starting to fall apart so you know I think that the main objective here is weighing up what quality of life we can give her um, until it becomes a point of you know the painkillers aren't working she's in pain she's suffering um, So, yeah, like I said, she, the vet was saying that given how quickly the lumps have appeared and how big they are already, how far it's already spread, how many um, nodules they found all through her lungs, um, yeah, it's... They even said it could be something as quick as she's only got a couple of days. <clears throat> so I've just tried to get as many different types of painkillers as they could prescribe safely and just try to make her as comfortable as possible. And I think today, like we're just sitting in the McDonald's car park now waiting for some chicken nuggets and then I think that we'll just try and take her out and give her an amazing day take her to the beach let her off lead just follow her around see if you know if she doesn't come back then we'll just go chase her down the beach it doesn't matter I just want her to feel free and feel happy So I think we'll go home and pick up Hope. And then we'll, we'll go to the beach. It's a beautiful day today. And then we'll just go to the beach, let them off lead, and I'll just try and keep up with them as best I can. And let them run free. You darling? They feel, they feel like they're a little bit hot. They feel like they're a little bit hot in there, but we'll just leave them there for now, huh?
Yeah. Good day, mate. How are you? Um, have you got any ribeye on the bone? No. Nah. What about the uh, shoulder rack of lamb? The lamb rack shoulder, like a something like that. Yeah. We often do that. Just uh, obviously, it's got a bit more meat on it than the lamb rack with the that bit of cut off. You know what I mean? That's just the shoulders. Yeah, with the bone or. Yeah, I'll show you. Yep. Look at her, such a good dog. She's not even eating that McDonald's in there. The car's running with the aircon on, in case anyone's wondering. Got you some good lunch, darling. Don't you worry about that. It's funny, I told the butcher, you know, it's for the dog, do you mind cutting up this? And he's like, you giving this to the dog? Yeah, I can give you this for the dog. And he said, no, no, no. One of the best stuff you've got. And then I told him why, and he told me about his, his recent uh, loss with his pet, and he said it broke his heart, and totally understood, and then, um, you know, I think when I asked him for a ribeye, he didn't want to give it to me because he knew it was given to the dog. But then once I told him, uh, he grabbed it. He goes, yeah, ribeye is the best one and grabbed it straight off the shelf. So, <clears throat> yeah, it's tough. Everyone, everyone, all pets owners have all um, shared a, <clears throat> a loss at some point. Unfortunately, it's just life of being a pet owner because we outlive them but let's focus on you today huh hey I'll give you a good day so my first response <coughs> was to quickly just duck up to McDonald's get some chicken nuggets you know a bit of a knee-jerk reaction to hearing the sad news but after having a bit of time to think about it, you know, I want to give a, the, the, the best quality that we can possibly give her for however long she has left, however many days or I don't even know if you can expect weeks, but um, I suppose the important thing to to remember is that we want to make her as comfortable as possible and you know although you can give them a few treats my intention was never to give her all the chicken nuggets I was going to share them around but um, you know you don't want to really give her any low quality food based on the, or any sort of volume of low quality food, based on how, what sort of repercussions that's gonna have for her feeling a little bit upset tummy or, you know, bloated or anything like that. So um, I stopped in at the butcher and got a little bit of a variety. I've got a couple of, um, you know, the most meaty lamb, um, roast I could which is like the rib the lamb version of the ribeye or the tomahawk steak uh, they didn't have any of the tomahawk in the beef so I just got the eye fillet so that she can have a full meal of high quality uh, meat without consuming too much bone uh, I'm not sure how she's going to go getting through the bone given that she's a little bit older and her teeth may not be 
uh, that great, but I'm gonna let her give it a good go and if she looks like she's struggling with it, then I'll just remove the bone and she can just enjoy herself with a nice piece of eye fillet. And I think that'll be, that'll be uh, her diet for the next couple of days and just hopefully get to live life the way that it should have been lived. So I'm just on my way home now to pick up Sam, to pick up Hope, and I'm just going to go to the beach and give them a day to themselves, just all, all focus on them. Picking up Hope because I think she'll enjoy the company. I think that she she gets a bit of a spring in her step when, when Hope's around, so she would want to spend her time with Hope, so um, yeah, let's go and do that. Maybe we can get a, an ice cream on the way home as well. I sent her a message.
Hold on, no, let it cool down. Oh, 
<laughs> His dogs come back. Who is found joy in the smallest of things? That is what we found in you. Oh, 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 you are joy. <laughs> Hello, mate. Hello, darling. back from the beach with hope and faith and we've had a talk about you know what's what we want to do what the plan will be and unfortunately faith's diagnosis isn't good they're only giving a you know a very short time it's a matter of days uh, if lucky maybe a couple of weeks um, so we just have decided that the best thing for her is just to dedicate the next period to giving Faith the best possible experience of life that, uh, that we can possibly give. So that's going to be our focus for the next, um, or however long it is. Um, so. I think that it's important to try to give her whatever we can. You know, she's obviously not going to make it to be adopted. She's not going to make it to that forever home. Um, it's a really sad thought, but the least we can do is try to make her last days on earth really enjoyable and fulfilling and happy um, so we'll come up with a plan on what our schedule is going to be but that's going to be what we're going to dedicate the, the next period of time for it's been a bit of a 
reality check for us. It came on very suddenly and it seems like it's going to end just as suddenly and you know life's short. We need to make the most of it and you know I was pretty sad this morning when I got the news but for faith's sake we just need to be happy and help her enjoy life and even though um, you know there's not much left there's not much not much left <clears throat> so we got some ribeye fillets to take home and cook up for dinner for faith just give her the best we can give her everyone at home we were thinking like what is Faith's favorite thing to do and we, we kind of feel that she's always happiest out here with, with, all, the, other with the other dogs it's she's the happiest most relaxed familiar place yeah. now you know this she knows it's safe but she likes she does like open space but, yeah, she, but we should have taken a few dogs with us to the beach for her sake yeah because she does love um the she dogs being around be, she likes to be in a group but she also likes it when it's an open space yeah yeah um, that's, that's everywhere here yeah well yeah <laughs> if we should just like adopt her you know like just to give her a forever home yeah it's uh, like a tick in the box at the end isn't it well i well, know it sounds maybe it sounds silly like why what's the point but no, it totally makes sense though you know it's totally gonna make sense you know she's She's probably just like any other dog that comes through here where they think that, you know, this is their home. They don't realise they're on a rehab journey. Or Look at her over there.
Oh, he's throwing the bait off too. He's got some tight turns. Ready with the moves. Yeah. Named after the. Jump, buddy. That was, that was room there. Good job, mate. Like a trust ball. Like I'll just jump to your lap, you do the rest. Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll learn. I can't believe no one's adopted these guys. <laughs> Talk for hours. I don't know what's, uh, what's wrong with everyone out there. Just the way what is this guy? Oh, hello. You. Oh, hello, Rose. You're always very enthusiastic about your kisses, aren't you? This could be the best thing. Ask Joey. He knows all about it. <laughs>
Get in there, too. Push your way in, too. That's it. That's it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, chili. Oh, chili, girl. Who's that? Who's that? Oh, that? Oh, that? Nice big piece of ribeye fillet for faith for a dinner tonight. Just put a nice little char on it, and then I'll let it rest. And it should be a nice medium rare. Ooh, it's gonna be good. Ah. Okay. Thank you.